Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about some of the basics of writing expressions and equations. So let's get right to it. Here you have a chart of some common phrases and symbols that you, would, you may see in problems involving word problems where you would need to turn phrases into expressions or equations. And so we're going to go through each of those and show you how it's done. So if you see the word or phrase plus or more than, you're going to use a plus sign or an addition symbol as shown here. If you see something such as minus or less than or the difference or the difference between, you're going to use a minus sign or a subtraction sign. If you see something like times, multiply, or even the word of, in math, that all means multiply, times, it means use your multiplication symbol, which is like an X or a dot or even some other ways, which we'll get into in a little bit. If you see the phrase twice, anytime you do something twice, you do it two times. So you're going to multiply it by two. And you can represent that by 2x or two times your number or something like that. If you see the phrase equals or is, that means equals. So you're going to use an equal sign. And lastly, if you see the word divide, divided by, or divided into, you're going to obviously use a division sign, which can be represented by an actual division symbol or a fraction bar as shown there. So let's look at a couple examples of each of those and we'll show you how it's done in real practical ways. All right, so one of the examples says, John's book has 15 more pages than Dan's book. So I see right here, I have the word more than, so I'm gonna use that plus symbol. And so John's book has 15 more than Dan's book. So let's say Dan's book is represented by B book and more than means plus symbol and 15. So there's your representation of, you know, 15 more than Dan's book. Let's look at the next example. Five less than a number. So if you have some number, let's call it N, and you can really use any letter of the alphabet you want. I'm going to use N, and five less than that. Well, less than, what we saw before, means minus. So I'm going to do minus five. And there's five less than a number. Okay? Next one says four times a number. Well, times means multiply. So I'm going to take 4, and I'm going to multiply it by my number. Remember, in multiplication, you can represent times as like an x, or you can represent 4 dot n, or you can even represent it as 4n. Those are different ways to represent the same expression. Okay? Let's move on down. A number plus 10 is 18. So this has a couple of phrases in it. A number, let's call it n, because I like that letter for n, for number. And plus, well plus means plus 10. And then here's my keyword in this phrase, is. Remember from the chart, is means equals. So equals 18. And you can, if you've broken that down one thing at a time to write an equation. All right, let's move on to the next one. A number divided by five. So you have some number, again, I'm going to call it n, divided by. Divided by means use a division symbol. So I'm going to use a division symbol and the number 5. You could also represent it as n slash 5, because the slash means division, or even a fraction if you wanted to. n divided by 5. Those all represent the same expression. And then the last one, it says product A is twice as expensive as product B. So <clears throat> there's a couple of expressions here. Um, product A, which I'll use A, is, remember from the last one, is means equals twice. Remember I said if you're doing something twice, you're doing it two times. So I'm going to take the number two, twice as expensive as product B. So twice B or 2B. So now you have another equation. So I hope this helps you as you get to those word problems where you're looking at figuring out how to represent the phrases as expressions or equations and you can go from there. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.